What is quiet title? Folks, it's a lawsuit to settle a claim. Everybody, we're here with Ted Thomas, the Tax Lien Certificate and Tax Deed Authority. And today, Ted's going to be telling us about what a quiet title is. So, Ted, a quiet title option, why is that important in real estate? Well, a quiet title sets off a whole bunch of alarms. It causes a lot of concern, let me tell you. So, people get all upset when they hear about this quiet title. So, let's see if we can simplify it on this video. It's really not a problem, folks, but it's a lawsuit. But it's not a lawsuit that you have to do. It's a lawsuit that you hire an attorney and he does all the research to find out what the claim against, if there is one, against the property. And then they take that research to a judge and then the judge reviews it. And then he lets the gavel go down and say that it's going to be a clear title. So it's a lawsuit that someone else does the work. You don't have to do anything, but the lawsuit is all about performing a legal process. Well, how long does that process usually take, Ted, and what are the associated costs? Well, it is costly. So when you buy a property from the county at a tax defaulted auction, you're going to have to hire an expert. And who's the expert? It's going to have to be an experienced attorney. No one else can do a quiet title. So it's going to have to have, you're going to have to hire this expert. They're going to take three to six months if it's normal. It could cost anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000 if it's normal. Now, if it took a longer time and there were a lot of claims that they had to work on and settle, well, which is what you'd want, you'd want to clear all those settlements, well, then that might cost a little bit more. But you could plan on three to $5,000. Well, are there any particular challenges or things you need to consider when you're dealing with commercial properties that are in a quiet title action versus just, say, buying a home? Well, quiet title applies to all property. It could be agricultural property, it could be commercial property, it could be single family home. The objective is simple. What they're trying to do is they're trying to clear the title. When you buy a property from the county, it doesn't necessarily have a clear title. I'll cover that in just a couple of minutes. So the attorney has to be experienced because this could take a long time for them to learn how to do it. So you wanna hire an experienced attorney. How would you do that? Just find out from the title company, they would help you with that. Well, let me ask you, I mean, if you're the winner at a tax delinquent auction, is your buyer gonna require a quiet, a quiet title action? Oh my goodness, yes, yes, and yes. Uh, anybody that's gonna buy a property from you if you bought it at the auction is going to want a quiet title. Why would they want that? Because if the pr title isn't clear, no one wants to buy a property that has lawsuits against it or claims against it. So nobody is gonna trust you or me or anybody else. So what has to happen is you have to have this clear title to say you're selling that property that you bought at the auction. You have to have a clear title on that property. The whole purpose of this whole thing is to establish a clear title. When the county has a property, well, they just want to sell it. That's all they want to do it. But when people are buying from you, they're either going to have a broker, they'll have an attorney, or maybe they're experienced. And what they're going to say is, look, I'll buy your property, you agree on a price, but you'll have to quiet the title, okay? The buyer does not want a property if there's other demands or claims against the property. So the only way that you can correct problems with a title is you're going to have to go through this process of having the title clear. So when the county sold you the property, they don't know if the property had good condition or bad condition. They don't know if the property had any uh, defects in the title. All they did is they confiscated it because someone didn't pay the tax and all they would do is get rid of it. That's all they, the county wants to do. So you're getting the idea. So the county didn't do any of that. If they didn't do it, which I can assure you they didn't, they didn't do it, then when you buy, it's caveat emptor. In other words, buyer beware. So you're gonna to have to, whenever you buy a property from the county at one of these tax defaulted auctions, you've gotta think about doing a quiet title, okay? It's just always gonna happen there. The previous owner basically abandoned the property or they didn't pay taxes. So that means they rejected the property. So you don't know if there's other problems with the property and the county, just because they sold it to you, they might sell it on a treasurer's deed or a quick claim deed or a commissioner's deed. They're gonna sell it. They, the county doesn't take any action to make sure that, that the deed is clear and that there's no defects in that title. So if there's any problem with the property, you've got the problem. The county only wants to sell it to you because what does the county want? They want money to pay county employees, to pay the school teachers, 
to pay the firefighter, pay the police department. So the county just wants their money, and that's why they discount it down so much. So you're buying these properties for pennies on the dollar, but you might have to do the quiet title afterwards. Well, you have a lot of experience in this area, Ted. Of, of, can you give me a specific example, maybe a case study of what you're talking about there? Well, this happens on a regular basis. So people go to the auction. Uh, most people at auction are trying to buy houses. So let's say you're um, a, a bargain hunter and you want to buy, but you go there and you know these neighborhoods. So it turns out there's, uh, say, four acres that's close to a subdivision. Well, if it's a nice four acres and the water's already there and it's got good drainage, you might want to buy this at the auction for pennies on the dollar. All right, so now when you buy the property, what do you buy the property for? Well, you bought it because you're a profit-minded investor, right? So you bought it for pennies and now you want to sell it for a higher price. So how do you go about doing that? Well, you're going to advertise this, what you're going to do. So you're going to put it on Craigslist, multiple listing. Then you're probably going to get drone pictures and put it on eBay so people can look at the drone, put it on Zillow. You know, you put signs around it, so you're going to sell it. Well, what if you get these nice offers coming in now, all this advertising and marketing and getting offers coming in? What do you think the first question is going to be? Well, they're going to talk about price, but you bought it so low, you've got to set the price. You can sell it relatively quickly. So selling it isn't the problem. What's going to be the problem is the buyer is going to say to you, well, I want to buy with a clear title. So are you going to give me a title insurance policy? So you call the title company and they say, oh no, you can't have a, you can't have a title insurance policy unless you've got a quit claim deed. You have to have a quiet title action. See, so one is all that. So now you have to hire an attorney. Remember, you bought it from the county. They sold it to you as is, caveat emptor. They don't know if the title's good. You don't know if it's good. So now you have to do the quiet title. That's kind of a long answer to all that. The, the real answer is buyers want a clear title. But do I have to do a quiet title for selling tax delinquent property? I mean, is there any way around that, Ted? No title company is going to issue a policy without a quiet title. You've got to get a quiet title policy. All right. I have advanced students that have been with me for a while. And what they do is they buy at the auction. Now, we have taught those people, buy at the auction. They already know that they're going to have to do a quiet title if they're going to sell it immediately. So as I just said a few minutes ago, there's lots of ways to sell a property, okay? So they want to sell it quickly and make twenty-five, fifty, dollars maybe $100,000 on the deal. All right. They could sell the property on a contract and not give the title. In other words, they keep the title, but they sell it on an installment sale. So someone wants to buy from them, that someone that wants to buy doesn't have to go to a banker and get a loan because they're going to sell it on an installment sale. Well, an installment sale simply means they're going to make payments one year, two years, three years. All right. So instead of quieting the title, they sell on the contract of sale. After two or three years of this new buyer making their payments, now if the, that buyer or if you wanted to, you could clear the title then, but more than likely, time cleared it for you. In other words, the time took place. So now the title company say, well, there's been no claims for three years. We'll give you a title policy. All right. That's not for brand new investors. If you're a brand new investor, what you want to think about is you want to say, I'm going to buy it today. I am going to plan when I bought it that I'm going to have to hire an experienced attorney to do a quiet title action. That was a lawsuit that we just talked about. Okay, when the lawsuit's all finished, the judge will look at it and say, it's approved, Gavin will come down, now you have a clear title. That's gonna take three more months, probably cost you three to $5,000. So listen, Ted just brought up a lot of good points about this whole tricky, quiet title thing. So if you have some other questions for clarification, leave them in the comment section below, Ted will answer it. And while you're down there, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to Ted's channel. Uh, Ted, we always are looking for where these auctions are happening and when they're and when they're happening. You have some help for that, don't you? Yeah, I can talk about that. But what I want to do in review here with the people is, folks, what we're talking about here is not theory. It's not forecasting. It's what's working right now to attract big money. And that's what you're after. You want to be able to make big money. And that's why we really treat people. You want to turn this property into high income. All right. So everything really starts with a tax defaulted auction. So if you want to know about tax defaulted auction, you can go right below me. That will help you. And you just go below me. We'll give you a demonstration of it. So you can get 
using your cursor and using the internet, you can go to every single county in the United States and know exactly how many auctions they're going to have. And you can actually look at auction properties. I'll see you in the next video.